Hello everyone, I am Loki616 and I am back playing some more ranked games of scrolls. So, let's get to this. Boom, straight into a match, love it. And we are up against Taewin. I think that's how you'd pronounce that. Taewin. Yeah, Taewin. Fair enough. It's, uh, good luck, have fun. Ooh. Why is it not showing me the stats? That's odd. Ah, uh, that's a bit weird. Right, let's throw that away. Oh man, I've got no units in this opening hand. This opening hand is pretty piss poor. Um. Yeah, that's a little worrying. I'll have to check the model loader in a minute. my replays were there that's really weird still no units what is going on push back and go away and it's a growth deck uh, might we'd probably find out this turn if it was growth auto pull although we probably would have found out last turn actually burial ground uh, Druid burial ground even. Oh wow, and we finally get something. It's a four. Brilliant. I'm going to throw that away. Play the decimation. Because I don't think it heals itself, it heals the units around it. Yeah. So if they were to play another druid burial ground next to it, then that would, you know, do it. Um, boom, 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 sacking up to four, brother of the wolf, straight behind, of course. Could I have some spiky units, please? Just. And this is why I think Mulligan should be in the game. Because if I start a thing with only a Royal Vanguard in there, it's not particularly a hand I want to keep. Okay, and he's going to get buffed next turn. Uh, right, I'm going to throw away the focus for cards. No, I'm going to... At the moment, I'm throwing away the Jukul. There we go! Finally. Wow. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he's dead this turn to the Wolf. Which is a little annoying, but that's why I wanted to keep the focus, so that I could uh, make him run through things. Next turn I will play the Ducal Infantryman, the focus, possibly the Powerbound as well, but I think I'd rather try and get down the Ducal Spearman. Hmm. If he moves, yeah, him there and then plays the wolf there, he'll be able to get this guy down to two health. Doesn't quite kill him though, there we go. Uh Right. I am Right, if I get him up, that'd be seven attack he'd be doing if I was playing the Ducal Infantryman and the Focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack that for cards. Oh, a kabonk. Um, 
Oh well, no. That. That. And the power bound. At least get the front two there. See that way I've taken out um, the or what would you call it? The dried uh, druid burial ground. Wow, words today. Yep, he's dead. Fair enough. I can understand that particular move. Uh, I am going to play the Spearman. And I am going to kabonk this guy. And I am going to sack the Pother for resources. You never know, we might get something good next turn. Actually start looking like we could win. Why did I kabonk this guy? Uh, I doubt the brother of the wolf is going to attack. And if he does, then he hasn't summoned a new wolf in, which I like. Um, but if these wolves try to attack my spiky guy, they will now die. Um, what I actually reckon he'll do, if he's being smart about it, is he'll move this guy out of the way. Move, oh, okay. And then rotate so they're all in the same row and he can kill. Ah, I see. Um, yeah, he can take out both. Fair play. Stones. Stones isn't bad. Um, hmm. Could play the stones and the skirmisher. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, preferring the stones at this point over the spiky for the simple fact that um, he's got a lot of stuff on the board and a lot of heavy damage stuff until I take out that uh, ancestral totem. Now another way of playing it would have been to go down the sides. Uh, I could have I could have done that relatively happily, but. You know, I, I might get lucky with what cards I draw. Also, I'm going to be kabonking this turn, and I'm going to be kabonking that thing. Oh, Fertile Soil wants more cards. No, I'm not going to be kabonking the Vator. Bonk the Vader. More stones. Meh. Need more cards. Imperial resources. Yes. It's actually really nice. I'm going to throw down this Ducal Spearman here. Move him that way. It just gives me some options. Means that uh, if I get a focus next turn or haste Royal Infantryman. Oh no, he's not even moving him into that row. Okay, it's a bit random. Another freaking ancestral totem. That's fantastic. Right, they both did. Oh, I get the feeling that I just got decked freaking hard. And I have no. I, I normally I will try and stay away from saying, "Oh yeah, I just I just got decked." It wasn't that I was playing absolute shit. Um, mm. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the heritage on the stones. Uh, play the royal skirmisher up here. Sat the walking stones for cards. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, but I actually feel like I got decked pretty bad this game. I have no qualms with with saying that. Um Cuz I just didn't have a creature that I could play for the first what four turns. And by that point he got on everything he wanted down. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. And, of course, another Great Wolf. Hmm, pretty sure this is over, folks. Uh, I am going to set the crossbowman, play the Imperial resources. Nothing really doing to help me in the cards that I've got. Although, with this board position, there wasn't a great deal that could have been done. His uh, brother the wolf was going to go. So why did he summon wolf and then rally? That would have been a better way of playing that. any cards that can save me I don't think there are flip on my own buildings, that's annoying. Right. And of course rallying, GG. And he's got a quadra out of me, that's a bit annoying. Oh, that was just, that was just saddening. It really was. It's like, oh yeah, you don't get to play anything for the first, like, three, four turns of the game. And then by that point, Grove's already got a massive board control. Fantastic. Right then, and we're back out of the top thousands again, folks. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Um, now, I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you all next time. Have a good